Welcome to the complete tutorial on how to customize your Shopify Sense theme. I'll be giving you a complete overview of the theme editor. We'll be going over how to customize your homepage, add navigation, edit the product page, the cart page, so you can have a complete understanding of the Sense theme and you can make your own edits and build the layout that you've always wanted. So let's not waste any time here and head to our Shopify dashboard. I'm gonna to go to online store on the left-hand side and this is gonna open up my Shopify theme section. I already have Sense installed here and this is my current published theme if you don't have it installed already you can just head to the Shopify theme store and it is a completely free theme to add next I'm gonna hit customize here in the center of the page and this is gonna open up my Shopify theme editor so let's first go into an overview of the theme editor so ignore this app embed section for now as it's only relevant if you have installed apps that customize the theme layout and those are gonna be automatically enabled or disabled during the app setup specifically so you don't really need to worry about that now. Next, we have theme settings. So these are the overall settings for our theme. We can see customizations such as the logo, which we will change later. We have our color schemes. So changing these color schemes are going to apply to any elements that use said color scheme. So if we go here, maybe we wanna change our background button color to a black, or maybe we even wanna change it to something such as a red. It's gonna be up to you based on the preference for your theme, but you can change them right there under theme settings. We also have quite a few different settings here, so I won't have time to go into all of them. But for example, if you wanted to change the button styling, we could change the thickness, we can make it completely 100% opacity here. It's all gonna be depending on how you want to style your theme. Next, we have our sections, and these are the submenus here to whatever template we're on. We'll come back to this shortly, but to start at the top here, we have our templates, so we can see we're currently on the home page. We could go to the product template or the collections template, and to note by default, they will have the default product template or collection template assigned, so unless you're changing them specifically for different products, if we click into the default product template, this should apply to all of our products. On the top right hand side, we have our different preview options. So we can see what it looks like on mobile or desktop without actually accessing it on a mobile device. And in the top right, we have our save button. That's important to finalize any changes we've made. So let's navigate back to the homepage template here. I've just clicked the link to go home. We can also select it here at the top. And so as promised, let's head into the sections part of our theme editor. So here is where we can make the specific changes to the elements on our pages. We'll start under the template here as we'll focus on the header and the footer later. So here is where we can add any specific sections we want to add. So if we click add section, we can see there are things such as featured products, collection lists, image banners, slideshows, collages. It's all going to depend on what you want to add in. As an example, let's add a collection list. We can see now that has been added below our featured collection and our image with text. If we want to move any of these around, we can hover over it. We can see there are six dots here. It makes it very easy to drag things around and reorder the page to our liking. If we want to remove them, there is a trash can icon. And we can easily just remove this collection list we just added. So let's go into actually customizing each section. If we click on the overall section, the right hand side here is gonna open up with further settings we can go and edit. So we can change the image, the image height, we can change the color scheme, we can set the alignment, and these are gonna change specifically to the element we have selected. If I select features collection instead, you can see now we can change the heading or the description and change the selected collection. So let's go and make some edits here to our image with text. Let's go and add a new image. I'm going to click on one of the staff favorite free images. Hit select in the bottom right. We can see it is now updated. I can change the height. Maybe I want this to be small instead. And I can set the width maybe to a medium. And so this should auto align depending on what I select. But that's the overall setting. If I click on to any of these sub elements here, I can edit it specifically. So this one is a text element. So instead of browser latest products, I could say shop our new year's sale now. I can go and edit the button by clicking on it as well. And I can maybe change this to all caps shop now. And I can change the button link to let's say a camping collection instead. So this same logic is going to apply to anything we edit. If we click on feature collection, the sub menu is going to open up. Like there, I can make all my changes, including changing the collection. Let's say again, I want this to go to the camping collection. So let's go and edit our navigation now, and then we'll head into our product template after that. So at the top here, let's click on header. And if we go to the right-hand side sub menu, it's gonna give us an option to select our menu. 
I currently have it set to main menu. I can also reselect it here. I can maybe use a footer menu instead as well, or any navigation I've set up, but just hitting select will finalize that. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to find out how much money you've actually made. You have all your different costs, goods sold, your ad spend, your transaction fees. It can be a lot to keep track of. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It has a seamless integration with Shopify, and it's gonna sync with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. You're gonna get one-click calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time metrics. You get a ton of different breakdowns here so you can truly understand your store's performance and this is going to let you make smarter business decisions. There's a link in the description below where you can get a 15 day free trial where you can test drive everything for yourself. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. So make sure you check it out and it's going to simplify the entire profit and accounting experience. If you don't have navigation set up already, if we exit out of the theme editor here and go to navigation, you can easily add different menu items to different menus. I just simply call it main menu here. That's easy for me to identify. We can easily add different items to this, move them around, or even create sub menus. Let's head back to the theme editor here by clicking themes and then going to customize. Next, let's go and edit the logo for this. So under settings or theme settings specifically, I'm going to click on that, open up the logo section, and I'm going to select an image. Now I've already uploaded a logo, so it's available in my files here. So I'm going to simply select it and then click on done. If you don't have it uploaded, there's an upload button. You can easily drag and drop it there. Next, I'm going to select my favicon again selecting one of the previous ones I updated. A favicon is going to be that icon in the tab that makes it easy for any customer to go and refine the page they were on. I can then change the desktop logo width. Maybe I want it to be super big on my page. So we've customized the header section. At the top will be our announcement bar. So we can add multiple announcements here if we want to, and you can easily scroll it by pressing the arrow. But these announcements are just gonna be messages you wanna send their customers as it's gonna load at the top of the page. I've seen many stores do this for announcing different sale coupons or things such as free shipping on all orders for the next two weeks. You can just click on this element here and we can go and change the text. You can say free shipping on all orders. You can also paste a link if you want to, maybe going to the specific page detailing the promotion information. So let's move down to our footer at the bottom. If I scroll down, I can see there's nothing there so far apart from our email signup section, which is included with this theme for free. We can go and customize this text if we want to, but we're gonna edit the footer section. And if we expand it, then go to add block, we can see the different theme blocks are available. I'm gonna add a menu. I'm also gonna add the brand information. So in terms of quick links, this is similar to our navigation. If I click into it here and then on the right hand side, I can change the selected menu and these links are then going to populate automatically. I can notice for the brand information, there's nothing there. So we need to go and add that in. So if I click on brand information, we can see that this block will display your brand information and to edit it, we can just click this hyperlink here and it's gonna open up the theme settings on the left hand side. If I scroll down, we can see brand information. So we can add a headline, a description, and an image. So let's say for the headline, it's amazing camping gear, and the description will just be something like make 2024 your best camping year yet. So once we populate this here, it's gonna fill out in our footer menu. If we head back to the footer section, let's say we want to rearrange it, we can simply drag it around. Let's hit save in the top right here. Let's move into our product section. If we go to the top, under products, under the default products, and we scroll down, we can see this is our product page. The logic is going to be exactly the same as the home page. We can go to the left hand side and possibly add different blocks. Maybe we want to add the SKU. We could also add a product rating. If you have different apps installed here, you can add them here, such as different app blocks from review widgets, such as Judge Me. You can install those very easily. And there are other videos on the channel going over that. We can also add different sections. Maybe we want to add a featured product on any product template. And maybe this is our best seller and we want to put this on every single page. For the featured product, we can make our individual edits or we can rearrange this however we like, depending on the elements that we add to our page. If I head back to the home page here, let's go and change our cart settings. So if we click on the cart page here, just showing our cart is empty. But if we go to theme settings and we scroll down to cart, we can get some changing on the cart type. 
Maybe instead of a separate page, we want it to be a drawer. So if I select drawer, I go back to home here and I click on cart again. Instead of opening up a separate page, it's going to be a cart drawer that can be easily expanded and closed rather than having to leave that page. We can also enable show vendor and enable cart notes if needed. We can also add a separate collection. So let's say the cart is empty. I want to show the camping collection. So now if we expand this drawer, it's going to say your cart is empty, but it's going to link to a collection here at the bottom, adding a little more visual information. So in a nutshell, that is the Shopify Sense theme. We went over different customizations for the overall theme settings, the home page, the product page, the navigation, and the footer menu, as well as the cart page customization. To finalize all your changes, hit save in the top right. But I hope you enjoyed this video here and you have a much better idea. If you did enjoy it, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment as well. I have hundreds of videos on Shopify. So if you have any questions about anything Shopify related, make sure to check out the channel. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.